Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. I am so glad you are all here today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda. This is my sweet Oliver and if you're returning, you know we love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So I'm going to take these two oxagon pieces that come from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the top part of that and I just used my heat gun there to uh, kind of soften up the glue and stuck my little Cricut spatula underneath and I was able to just start um, pulling it loose and it's it's coming off with the paper so it's like pulling up the paper with it and so once I get this all off here will be any second now um, I just pulled off the as much of the paper from the back of it as I could and then after that I went ahead and removed all the paper from the top I scraped all the top layer off spritz it down with water let it sit for about five minutes and then scraped it all off um, and I've got them sitting aside for another time <laughs> then I took this wood round from Dollar Tree I painted it white and then once it was dry I covered it uh, one side of it with my Mod Podge and then I'll set that aside to dry as well. And then after it was all dry, I took some of this adorable uh, tissue paper I got from Amazon. If you saw my last B video, which was uh, my last video, um, I used it on that video as well. So I laid my tissue paper on my wood round and covered it with my parchment paper and went over it with my heat press. Now, if you can see the, all the markings on my parchment paper, um, I did not realize, but the last time and this time, it kind of bled, this this tissue paper kind of bled a little bit. So um, yeah, if you get this tissue from Amazon, you just kind of want to be a little careful with that. Um, I covered it with Mod Podge again and let it dry. And then I'm just using my little finger sander here to remove all that excess and then I took those little hexagon pieces that I took off of uh, the decor piece from Dollar Tree. And I am using my Tight Bond Quick and Thick Multipurpose Glue. And I'm just going around uh, all the longer areas. And then I took my hot glue gun and just went over all the corners. Again, the hot glue is for the immediate hold. The Tight Bond glue is for permanent hold. So I'm just going to lay them in place just like you see there. I put that one on the top and this one just right below it. And isn't that cute? I just love the way this came out. Then I took one of these uh, hoops from Dollar Tree and I painted it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the back. I'm using my Tight Bond Quick and Thick <laughs> Multi-Purpose Glue. I love saying that. Can you tell? <laughs> and my hot glue. And I am just going to go around the back of it and then I'm going to lay it on the front. I just thought this was a fun way that just really dresses up those wood rounds. Um, and then after that I took this wood welcome sign that I got from Walmart. I painted it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color maze and then once it was dry I took my black sharpie here and I'm just making some little small polka dots all along my word and then after I had that all done I took the same glue the tight bond <laughs> quick and thick multi uh am I saying it right is it quick and thick or thick and quick I don't know anyways the multi-purpose glue and hot glue and I'm gonna glue that to the front of my side now you see me I'm putting this all over the back of my sign and then I laid it down and not all of it touches and I'm like oh that was real smart <laughs> <laughs> well, it works. Then I took some of these uh, beads. I got these from Amazon last year. I believe I have them in my Amazon store if you're interested. And if you do order anything through Amazon, through my Amazon link, I do get a little something from Amazon. So just a, a little notification there for you. But um, I am just going to add these on to a jute string hanger. And I... On here I did 12, but I ended up having to take it off and change it out a little bit. So I, on, I only had 10 of those beads. Then I took these uh, Dollar Tree beads. I got these, I think, last year. And I'm removing those little stickers. Um, I don't think they're very sticky considering one just um, pretty much fell off. <laughs> and I'm just going to hot glue them on. 
You can see I have one at the top and then I'm going to glue this one on towards the bottom. And that's all there was for this. And I just think this is so adorable. I love this. You have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below. I just wanted to come on real quick and just say thank you to all of you guys. I appreciate you all so very much. I am getting really close to my 20,000 milestone for subscribers and I am asking that you help me out. My birthday is coming up May 7th and I would really love to reach that 20,000 before my birthday. So if you could share this video with those you think who might like it, um, make sure you do all the normal things, comment, Subscribe if you haven't. I know a lot of you watch my videos and haven't subscribed. So subscribe if you haven't. I would truly appreciate it. And I will have a giveaway, um, maybe even two, once I reach my 20,000 views or subscribers. So please help this girl out. And with all that, let's get on with the video. Okay, here's DIY number two. So for this DIY, I got these cool little like candle holders from Dollar Tree. They had gold like this one and then they had a white one. And so I picked one of each up and I had one idea for it, but it wasn't turning out. And so I decided to go with this. So I took those terracotta pots. They came from Dollar Tree and then these lids came from um, Walmart. I'm going to paint the terracotta pots and lids with my ink and then I'm going to paint those candle holders with that color that I just showed you there and um, once they were all dry I took my white chalk paint and I'm going to go over the wings with it and I was showing uh, showing these to Kathy Jo we were video chatting and <laughs> she told me it looked like a face and so now I cannot unsee it because of her saying that with the um, she thinks the bee looks like a nose, you know, and the little holes look like eyes. So now you're not going to be able, you're not going to be able to unsee it either now. <laughs> but anyways, I took some yellow paint and the black paint and I'm just coloring in with the lines. I'm just kind of following the pattern that's already on those bees. And then I'm going to paint the head in with my uh, black as well. And, uh, and then after I had that all painted in, is you can see that little white marker from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to outline where the little holes are for the, uh, I don't know, what do you call those? The flying lines? I don't know. I'm just going to color them in with that white marker there. And then um, I did that on both of them. And then I took my pots here and I'm putting my fix -all glue on the bottom and some hot glue. Again, the fix -all glue is the permanent hold and the hot glue is for immediate. I put my little candle holder there and then I went ahead and just kind of made some more lines going down the front of my um, terracotta pot. And then I took some more of the fix -all glue and hot glue and I'm putting this along the top. Now this actually came to me. I wasn't going to do this. I was just going to, um, I think it was just going to leave it open and put a candle on it. But then I thought, oh, this would be really fun. So I took one of these little jars. I got these from Dollar Tree a while ago. And I'm just going to take some sunflowers from Dollar Tree. I'm gluing the leaf to the back of it and I'm just going to stick it inside and look how cute this is going to be. Those bees, it's like the bees are flying trying to get to the flower, right? <laughs> I took one of these beads. I got these beads from Kathy Jo. She sent me some beads and I thought they kind of looked like honeycombs. So I glued it to the top of the lids there and then I'm just going to glue a bee. These bees, I believe, are in my Amazon store as well. They came from Amazon. <laughs> That's why they're my Amazon store. Oh my goodness. Anyways, um, after I glued those on, I took some gold glitter paint or glitter glue sticks and I made like honey dripping and then I am going to take a little bee and stick one right on the glass and I stuck a bee down on the bottom of the pot and look at there and you can put a can oh I was gonna I forgot to turn those on uh, I have little candle little tea light candles and I forgot to turn them on for my video but you can put little tea lights in there and oh my goodness it is so cute <laughs> 
<laughs> you have to let me know what you think about that one too. Okay, it is a time for a celebration of your recreation. And Jane, these are so sweet and perfect timing sending me your bead DIY. Those are lovely. And then Kathy, I just love everything you made. Oh, that bee is really cute. And so are your watermelon. I love them. And Lynette, oh, she did a great job. She even recreated some of my stuff. You guys did amazing. And if you guys have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase, you can send pictures to that email address there, or you can send them to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Okay, DIY number three. So for this DIY, I took this octagon that I got from Woodpecker Crafts, and I do have a link to them as, as well as a discount code if you're interested. And then that little wood round came from uh, Walmart. I painted them both white. And then I took this uh, shelf liner from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to trace it out. I'm just lining my uh, octagon up to it and I'm going to trace it out and then cut it all out so that it fits along the front. Now I am originally planned on using the white painted side for the back and I was going to um, glue that shelf liner to the not painted side and look what I'm doing. I didn't realize it till I got completely done. So I used my uh, fix-all glue and then my hot glue and I am laying this down. And then I went over it with my antique wax because I didn't want it to be necessarily the white and the gray. And I thought, okay, if I add my antique wax to it and I'm just using a paper towel, then it will at least soften that, that gray color and just kind of make it look a little more antique-ish and old, which is what I was going for. So once I was done, I took this um, little wood round and I had created this, and I didn't create it. I got this decal from Cricut Design Space and I'm just putting it on my little wood round and then I'm just gonna go over the whole thing with my antique wax again because I want it to look antique. <laughs> That's why I'm using the antique wax. Anyways, I go over the whole thing just using my paper towel and just kind of rubbing it in and then just kind of wiping off any excess, trying to get in all the crevices that I could to there around the bee wings. And then after I had that all done, I'm gonna use the fix-all glue and hot glue on the back of it and I'm gonna attach it to the front of my hexagon, just like you see. Then I decided to take some of this jute twine. I get this uh, from Amazon. This has kind of got it like a braided look to it. And I'm going to hot glue it all the way around the outside of my sign. And then I took some of this greenery from Dollar Tree. You know, this stuff sometimes is hard to find and I just found a whole bunch of it the other day at my Dollar Tree. And so I grabbed it because I love this stuff. It's so pretty and it's so nice to work with. Um, so anyways, I'm using my wire cutters to just kind of cut the picks apart. And then once I had all the picks apart, then I laid them out like I wanted them and used some twine and wrapped it around um, all of those picks. And I'm making sure that, um, that when I tie it, that I have all of the ends tied in there together. And then I'm going to um, wrap it all the way around, just like you see me doing here. And I actually, I had to grab a, a longer piece because my piece that I had wasn't long enough. So I grabbed a, a longer piece and wrapped it around. And then um, I'm going to make a double bow and I'm taking this, this is a burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm just doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it up in the middle. Gonna tie it with some twine again. I got too small of twine there. <laughs> I took this uh, ribbon, this honeycomb ribbon from Dollar Tree. I got this either last year or the year before. I'm gonna do the same thing. It's a little harder to work with because it doesn't, it's not wired, but I'm just gonna take a longer piece of twine this time and tie it around it. And then I will tie that twine around the front or around the other bow because I'm gonna attach them. But before I do that, I'm gonna dovetail the ends of my ribbon. I just show you dovetail that I just show you that I dovetailed this, but I did the other one, ribbon as well. Then I'm just connecting the two and tying that twine together and then I'll cut off the excess. And then I am going to hot glue the flowers down and then I'm gonna hot glue the bow over that. Now I did 
uh, off camera, I did use my stapler and kind of went over all of that to make sure it stays in place. And I add a little B there. Then here I'm using my stapler to staple in some of that jute for a hanger. And that's all there is for this one. I think it came out so adorable. I love this one, for especially for a more neutral um, color. I just love it. You have to let me know what you think about it as well. That bow looks a little funky there, huh? <laughs> Oh, I'll have to fix that. Okay, here is DIY number four. And you guys, I this is a really easy one. So this is a house from Dollar Tree. I removed uh, the top part and I'm going to trace out that paper and cut it out. And I, um, again, I had so many ideas of things to make and I, again, ran out of time. So um I, I'm not going to do my next one in bees, but I might do another bee video maybe in a few weeks or something. Give you guys a little bit of a break from bees. Um, I wanted to do a few tear tray uh, pieces and something with fabric. Um, and I just ran out of time. And I was so bummed because I was just on a roll. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I can get another one done for you guys. But um, I added Mod Podge to the front of my house here. And then I'm adding this paper. This came from uh, Hobby Lobby. I, Hopefully they still have it. I got this a while ago. It was in my stash. Then I covered it again with some more Mod Podge. And once that was dry, I created this de uh, this decal with my Cricut. And I'm just going to add it to the front of this home. And I thought this was so cute. Home is the best place to be. And there's all those cute little bees. Then I just uh, added some hot glue to the top and added that top piece back to it. Back on top of it, oh, I'm tired, you guys. I'm really tired. Anyways, and then I'm just going to wrap some of this baker twine around the front and then make a four loop finger bow and add that to the front. Now, you guys, stay tuned. At the end of the video, I did another taste test for Try Treats. Um, this one was uh, maybe not as fun as the last one. You'll have to watch to see why. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyways, so uh, stay tuned. They'll be at the end of the video. Okay, so here I'm going to make that double loop finger bow. I'm going to go over my fingers four times very slowly. I'm going to cut off a very long tail. And then I'm going to bring that tail up and over those strings that are between my fingers and bring it down through my fingers. And then come up and go through that loop that I just made. And then pull really tightly. <laughs> and then I am going to hot glue it to the bottom. I, tr I will trim off the legs of it or the tails. And then I'm going to add a little bit, a little bee to it as well. And there I go. And that's all there was for that. Super simple, but yet it's so sweet. I love it. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. I am not usually this much in a B mood, you guys, but I don't know what it is about it. It's just, I keep coming up with ideas. <laughs> okay, DIY number five. This is the final DIY. So I took this pizza pan and I am going to use my little finger sander and I'm just doing a, just a light sanding all the way around. This just, for me, it helps the um, paint adhere a little bit better. The other thing I usually do and I forgot to do, so I'll probably have to do it um, is add some Mod Podge to just help protect that paint. So after I had it sanded, I wiped it all down and then I just measured three spots here and I'm going to paint the top part maize, the middle white and the bottom ink. And um, I think they were like four and a half inches, something like that, four and three quarters, something like that. Once it was all dry, I took my uh, black paint marker and I'm just making polka dots all along the yellow. And then I'm taking the back of my paintbrush and I'm making yellow polka dots just around the edge of my pizza pan. I also took these, I think these are three, they're either three or four inch wood uh, letters that I got from Hobby Lobby. They come in a pack. I don't know how many, there's quite a few in them. Um, and it's like $15, but get it 40% off. It makes it a lot better. Um, anyways, I am just using my fix all glue and hot glue to glue these. No, I'm sorry. I just used fix all glue because I knew that it was going to be sitting for a while. Um, and it would have time to, to, uh, hold. So I just used the fix all glue and I'm going to glue those in place. Then I took the, this, uh, little set of wood pieces from 
Hobby, yeah, Hobby Lobby. Oh, I can't. I'm, I'm so tired, you guys. Um, and I'm painting the bee here. I just painted every other stripe with my yellow since it was open, and then I did the uh, other stripes with my black, and then I'm going to paint the head and the antennas black, and I'm going to paint the wings white, and I'm going to paint those flowers white. And the this I this is another one that I just think came out so adorable but um I really hope you guys are enjoying the bees I know a lot of you guys wanted more bees in fact majority of you guys wanted more bees I know there was a few of you that said that you really don't do bees or you don't like yellow or whatever um thank you though for uh being patient and that's why I'm not going to do another bee video right away if I do another one hopefully I can get to another one because I was having a lot of fun I have a list of things that I wanted to make um, for this and I only there's I only got a few of them done so hopefully I can get to another one but I'm gonna just glue those flowers on again I'm just using the fix-all glue again and that fix-all glue you get from usually you can get from Dollar Tree but it's about the same thing as E6000 and I'm just gluing my flowers in place I'm gonna glue those bees in place and then I'm gonna take a little sharpie here and I'm going to make some more bee lines here I don't know what you call those but anyways um this one I'm just kind of doing a little curl and bringing it down and the other one is just kind of going to be um not as fancy but it's still going to be cute and then I'm going to make some stitch lines all along my letters just like you see me doing right there and uh, I'm loving this I love this one too Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And then I took some of this, uh, some more of this um, twine from Amazon and I glued it all the way around my, the edge here of my pizza pan. And then I'm going to use that as a hanger as well. And uh, yeah, I need to order me just a regular crocodile because uh, the the rim doesn't fit into my big mouth crocodile. And then my little paper hole punch was a, a little too thin for for the for this so uh, yeah I need to do something so I can make holes but anyways I'm making another bow just like I did on the last one now this uh ribbon I got I believe last year from Amazon they have all kinds of different bee ribbons and what's cool is a lot of times you can get um I think there was like five different designs that came together um and so especially if you're making wreaths or something like that it's great to have all of that coordinating um, ribbons. So anyways, I'm just making my bow again, cut the dovetail the ends, glued it to the front. And that's all there was. Look how cute that is. I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. <laughs> okay, this is uh, the final reveals coming right up. And uh, again, make sure you stay tuned for the end so you can see my taste test. And I will be back again on Sunday with the Just Our Imagination playlist. So be ready for lots of fun because that one's a lot of fun and challenging. <laughs> and again, if you're new here and haven't uh, hit that red subscribe button before you make sure you did that before you go and make sure you guys give me that thumbs up and comment. I really do appreciate it. And with all that being said, you guys, I hope you have a blessed week and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye. Well, friends, I have another Try Treats box. I am so excited. So I am going to open this up and um, see what we have. So let's see here. We have what country? Oh, the Philippines. So it comes with a card. Shows you what it's all about, about the Philippines. It tells you a little bit about them. Um, and then it gives some more fun facts and a recipe sizzling pork sizzik sizz i don't know what it's i don't s-i-s-i-g anyways interesting so what do we have here this is what the inside of the box looks like so i haven't taken anything out yet and yes i've got my companion got my little oliver <laughs> he's waiting to see what he gets right 
Um, it also comes with this little uh, card that talks about the different kinds of um, treats that are in here and it gives you the information about it and then you can rate on the bottom which one you like the best to the worst. So I don't know which one should we try. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take one out and we're gonna try it. So what is this? This is golden sweet corn. Okay. If I can open it. You know, probably shouldn't use my teeth, right? Okay, oh, so they, they kind of look like cheese balls. They're round. They, they definitely smell like corn. Oh my. You can taste the corn. At the end, at the end it reminds me of cereal. But you can definitely taste the corn and it's kind of buttery tasting. It's really good. Mm. Okay. What is this? Ooh. This is called Pillows. Oob filled crackers. I don't know what oob is. So let's see. <laughs> Oliver is like, where's my treat? Okay. Ooh, they're purple. Look at that. Purple. Hmm. I can't tell if that's chocolate inside of it. It's good. I'm trying to think of what I can compare it to. Um, I don't know. But it's good. Definitely good. Oh boy. An oob cake. An oob cake. I don't know what you, oob is. Does anyone know? It says luscious oob flavor wrapped in a light, delicate sponge cake. Did you lose your balance? I don't know what oob is. Does anyone know what oob is? Or what they mean by that? I don't know. Okay, well, let's take a look and see what this is. This is what the package looks like. And this is what the cake looks like. Looks kind of like it's smashed, but let's see. The texture reminds me as a, of a soft Fig Newton, but it doesn't taste like a Fig Newton, really. I don't know. It tastes good. It's purple inside. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know what to compare it to. I really don't. It's good. It's good. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know if I'm going to like these. Oishi prawn crackers spicy flavor. I am not a seafood kind of person. And spicy, it just depends on how spicy. I don't know, many of you might not know this, but my mom and her side of the family is Mexican. My dad's Swedish. That's why I'm, my hair normally is brown, dark brown, but um, I have very light coloring for being part Mexican. Um, but even with that, I still have a hard time with spiciness. No, you stay away. You can't have that. <laughs> He's trying to get my, my treats. Ugh, I can't open anything with these nails, Oliver. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. Okay, I'll try. I'll try one. No, I'm sorry. I mean, it's not a real strong seafood taste. But yeah, no, that I, I yeah. <laughs> and I, if you like seafood, you you probably and you like spicy, you'd like it. And that's what the package looked like. But I don't like seafood. So, oh no. Oh no. Yummy flakes, shrimp flavor. Oliver? No. Okay, so I don't. It doesn't say anything about being spicy on this one. But it's shrimp flavor. Okay. <sighs> Oliver might like it. It's okay. Um, it's not a strong... Shrimp. Oliver likes it. Not a strong shrimp flavor, which is good, but it's just okay. It's nothing. Mm. Oliver, it's on the floor. Um, it's kind of kind of bland, actually. I mean, it's got a little a little bit of a spice to it, but. Yeah, not my favorite. Okay. This is called Bawang Corn Nick. They look like corn nuts. That's what the package looks like. So, let's see. Oh, huh? let's see. Do they look like corn nuts? Yeah, they look like corn nuts. You see that? Um, they're okay. They're okay. They're not bad. Adobo flavor. That's why. That's what's a little different. Yeah, I I would probably stop. Have a hard time um, stopping with those. Those aren't bad. Iced jam biscuits. Hmm. That's what they look like. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. This is what they look like. It looks like they have a little bit of frosting on them. I don't know if it's because I just ate the the adoba flavor corn nick. But it's a little a little odd. Um hmm. yeah. I don't know. That's um that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Well let's see. See if Oliver likes it. Oliver likes anything. And yeah, he's eating it. Okay, so we have, this is called Hansel Mocha Sandwich. Cream filled biscuits. These should be good, I would imagine. But let's see. That's what they look like. Almost look like a Ritz cracker. And they have some cream filling inside. Mm. Mm hmm Definitely, definitely have that mocha flavor going on. Mm. <laughs> that was a big bite. <laughs> mm. 
Well, a very strong mocha flavor. But I like coffee, so if you don't like coffee, you may not like it. <clears throat> Sky Flakes crackers. That's what that looks like. Let's see what this looks like. Just crackers. I wonder if this is what they serve on their airplane. I don't know. They look like saltine crackers. That's what they look like. Kind of. Okay, let's try it. Let's see. Mm hmm They're saltine crackers. That's exactly what they are. Oliver likes them. Okay. I think this is the last one. Choco Crunchies. English quality chocolate covered biscuit. That's what it looks like. It says biscuit, so it must be like a cookie. Because that's what they call them in England. That's what it looks like. Okay. Mm hmm They remind me of those. What are those cookies called that have like the chocolate on the bottom and then the chocolate stripes on the front? That's what they taste like. I can't think of what they call. All I can think of is the little Kubler L's that are on the front of the package. But that's good. Mm hmm So this time... I think the ones I could do without, of course, are the shrimp and prawn crackers. Um, these ice gem biscuits, they're, they're kind of weird. Um, it's not my favorite. But the other ones are pretty good. So if you don't know what try, try treats, I kept calling it try it treats last time. What they are, I'm trying to get everything back in here. They are, it's a monthly subscription that you can subscribe to and they will send you treats from different countries every month that's what the box looks like and it's really fun I I enjoyed looking at these and seeing what's coming and trying out the different things from different countries treats I should say um, but I will have a link in my description box if you'd like to try them out and order it um, I think there's going to be a dis uh, discount code as well. So check that description box out. These would be great ways. Um, it's fun, especially if you have kids or grandkids, you know, to order order them and have them come in and have your kids or grandkids try them out. Um, it'd be great for a gift, too. Like, I was thinking my dad, this would be fun to send something like this to my dad because he's hard to shop for. And um, it'd be a fun way to try something new. Uh, but yeah, try treats. So check it out. Try treats.com. If you're interested and you can check the link in my description box.